That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. Monday. All right. Hit it, Mike Del Fufo. Oh, you already have. Great. Oh, Go great for job, it, Chris. Mikey. Go for okay, it. okay, okay. Look, Rich, not only did you nickname the running back, but they've beaten Buffalo and Kansas City in back to back weeks. The Tennessee Titans, best team in the AFC. <sighs> I, I I can't deny it. Honestly, who do they need? Who else do they need to beat other than the defending champs, two times over in the conference, and make them look pedestrian, average, sometimes less than average, and then uh, the the Buffalo Bills, who a lot of people think that's the one. I will say this in earnest: When do they take on the Raiders or the Bengals? Because those are the two teams top in the AFC right now. The Titans take on the Colts next, who are on fire. And they sweep that. Then they got the Jets, Jaguars, the Colts after that. Then the, mean, te- the Tennessee Titans after the Colts. They're, they're playing they're, the Rams, they're Saints. here in Los Angeles. Yeah. 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 Wow, the diminishers coming here. That's a Sunday nighter. I mean, oh, if you look boy. at the schedule, right? Tennessee's knocking them off, bro. After the next two weeks, Titans are going to win out. Who's going to beat them? Well, there, there's always those games. I mean, the Saints, you never know what they might look like when Michael Thomas comes back. You are you're you got the Steelers on the road. You also play at New England, dude. I mean, that's... They've had our number the last few years. I know that. But all bets do get off when, when it's Belichick at home, at even though Pittsburgh, they just finally maybe, won yeah. one at home. I guess, uh, look, it's not an overreaction. Not an overreaction at all. What else? Okay, I said this last week, you poo-pooed it, and now it's a talking point on every show this morning, so we're going to bring it back. The Chiefs are going to miss the playoffs. Oh, boy. You look at the, let's look at the standings here. I'm just, I can't, they're so dynamic on offense when they hold on to the ball. They're in 11th place in the AFC. I I hear you. They're losing a tie break to Denver. They look terrible on defense. Sorry, they win a tiebreak. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, yeah, but there's still only a game out of the playoffs, and it's the Browns that were the ones that are sitting in that playoff position. There's a lot in front of them. There's a lot of jockeying. I get it. I, I just, I, I'll go down with this ship. I just still, I, I think they'll still make it, but I, 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 I'd see them as a highly flawed team, and. I think at some point Reed is going to have no choice but to jettison Spagnolo and figure something out as one of those midseason sparks. Defensively, they are just terrible. Yeah. I wonder if they make. They're a one trade. of the worst defensive teams in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what trade you can swing to make it work. And then the, the offensive line that's been totally reconfigured is not protecting Mahomes. I mean, the Titans were all over him. And I, I know that this will probably be a very popular pick in uh, Survivor Pools next week, but don't sleep on the Giants going into Kansas City and trying to do yeah. what they what they just have done defensively to, you know, Carolina. If you're if you're average on offense and you can't hold the ball, or you're average on you're subpar on defense and you can't hold on to the ball on offense, you're going to lose to somebody like the Giants. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. I mean, uh, I won't say they're missing the playoffs yet. Again, they're just one game in. There's ten more regular season games to go, bro. Just won't say it. Not I know, yet. but Mahomes has nine interceptions. He leads the NFL. I can't believe it. I won't believe that it's a season long problem. Okay. All right. Not yet. Still too early. Okay. Just a game out of the playoffs. I'm not saying they're missing the playoffs. If you're sitting here saying, "Would I want to get off them as my Super Bowl team?" Yes. Yeah, I Absolutely think, I think I, I'm going to get off as well. I'm with you. We both but I don't have that opportunity until Thanksgiving, so that's built in for me. Okay. So. All right, Rich. Uh, next. This was a hot take of yours last week, week before. You said they were going to play a meaningful 17th game this year. I'm going to take it one further, Rich. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to host a playoff game. I think that's a good, um, a good overreaction Monday subject matter. That means they win their division. That's your other way of saying the 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 Bengals win the AFC North. If you think you're trying to sneak one past me like that, <laughs> I, I was not born yesterday. I, you've been in this game. I've a long been time. around this a long time. <laughs> um, what do you need to do to win your division? You need to do the following: win a lot, yes, and win 
on the road in the division. Mm -hmm. There are two division games they played so far at Pittsburgh, at Baltimore. They've won them both. They are, through seven weeks, your favorites to win this division because the Steelers is, and the, look, a 500 team that doesn't appear to be able to string too many wins together. The Browns quarterback is out and the Ravens have now lost at home to the Bengals. I'll say that's not an overreaction. I'll go with it right there, Chris. I love it. Out of boy, Rich. Out of boy. Okay. I mean, you take a look at the facts. They're two yeah, and zero in division. Facts. facts. And they're two and zero on the road. Everybody else has got to come to the jungle. Yeah. With the exception of them going to Cleveland, which I do believe happens later in the season. They get their next division game, Cincinnati, after the Jets come in, is home for the Browns, and they're ready to beat them up, man. If they did that to Baltimore, they can dismantle Cleveland unless Cleveland gets oh. uh, remarkably healthy between now and then. Yeah, That's 3-0 and in division. No worse than 500 in division. Let's stick with the Bengals for this next one, Rich, because what this kid is doing, considering what was the narrative surrounding him in the preseason, yes. Jamar Chase is the best rookie wide receiver since Randy Moss. <laughs> Don't forget Justin Jefferson also. Oh, that's an overreaction. Come on. Wow. That's an overreaction. I'm not laughing. You want to chime in? Chime in. I, Go ahead. I'm chiming in because three weeks ago, I off air, I tried to praise Jamar Chase to Brockman, and I got the uh, 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 And now to see him finally Look, come the, around, the I'm just like. The world is different than three weeks ago. Well, a 200-yard 200 game later. I mean. I'm just saying. And he keeps I, doing I, it. He, he was poo-pooing me a few weeks ago, and so now, I'd love, to see, back. That I'd love be, to see this. Now that, I'm back. That this may be the case when all the dust settles. But didn't Justin Jefferson just have one of the best rookie receiving seasons ever? Statistically speaking, not what Jamar has been doing. Dude, so he can take any ball to the house. The Did you see the one the spin, yesterday? I, know, the I mean, it was incredible. Score. I know, I know, I know. And he blocks for Joe Mixon too. <laughs> that was awesome. He's incredible. He's, He's incredible. But I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just put a pin in that one for okay. the moment. Seven right. games I mean, in. It's, it's, it's He's awesome. on pace, as they it's say awesome. in the business. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. He, he, you got that one, Chris. He's, so you agree? He's neck and neck. You would I mean, say that's not an overreaction? You would go with that? I, I don't think that's an overreaction. Not, I mean, you're just seeing it. This dude's amazing. He's amazing. Remember, people forget Odell was awesome, too, his first his first few years in the league. All right, Rich, this is uh, one we you hit on. Well, I asked you this question last week, and you hit on it in the open. Kyle Shanahan's seat will start to get hot this week. <laughs> I don't think so. I still don't believe so. I think, again, management believes in him. He would be snapped up by another team in two seconds flat. I, I don't know what the dynamic is in that front office, but the fact that, you know, even the general manager, John Lynch, did not know who they were drafting when they were drafting yeah. until this guy decided, it, it, if this keeps going in this manner, the way the this being this season, then there needs to be a conversation about who shops for groceries and how what the say is. It just doesn't ever appear to be a winning strategy when the coach chooses the players. Belichick appears to be the only exception to that. And even even in Boston and New England, you were wondering how much longer in oh, Bill are we going to trust here? Yeah. And then a lot of the drafting wasn't all that great, and they went on some sort of spending spree that you've never seen before. And Hunter Henry's been pretty damn good lately. Pretty good. Four straight weeks. So that's the only thing. Uh, the seat that could get hot would be whatever – preemptory that Shanahan has to choose players but he would be snapped up in two seconds if he's let loose and again they're one game out of the playoffs one game and they could be one of those proverbial six seven seeds you don't want to see they just need better quarterback play and Shanahan already identified Jimmy G wasn't the guy and we're seeing more of the fact that Jimmy G isn't the guy can Lance be that guy to get them in a sixth or seventh seed and be that dangerous team that's the question, I think, for the rest of the 49ers season. All right, last one. Yes, sir. Last one, guys. Now, I was going to do something about this last week. I passed. <laughs> and it worked out. Braves? America is rooting for the Braves in the World Series. Is this the one that Sarah said <laughs> no? She nuked last week? Well, last week I was going to do the World Se The Braves are making the World Series when it was 2-0, and I didn't want to jinx it. But now America's rooting for the Braves in the World Series. 
that's that's a, oh, an inference of are, are the Astros still viewed as cheaters? Yeah, nobody wants the Astros to win. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, uh, that was a couple years ago, and you yourself back then said you didn't care, right? I didn't care. I don't care. I still don't care. <laughs> yeah, you do. But care. America is rooting <laughs> for the Braves. Don't care for... I didn't care. Don't care. Still don't care. Go Atlanta. Sure, sure, <laughs> Come Chris. On, what do you mean? Sure, Chris. I hope it all works out in your household. Thank you. <laughs> she's going this week. Oh, is she really? Oh, good. Terrific. She's going home. Going to Houston. Very good. Oh, she's going to Houston. She wouldn't go to Los Angeles, but she'll go to Houston. <laughs> yeah. Way cheaper than going to doing. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I got you. Financial. Less chance of bodily Financial harm decision. too, right? Yeah. That's overreaction <laughs> Monday. Well done, Chris Brown. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.